Hey, Jonathan Hardy here. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready for this message coming up in a couple weeks. I'll be speaking, and, and, and it's on uh, 2 Kings 13, where uh, Elisha and the king of Israel are interacting, and Elisha tells him to, to shoot these arrows, and the arrows represented the victory over Syria. And, and if he would shoot all the arrows, they would get complete victory over Syria. They'd wipe them out. Uh, but they don't. And the king of Israel only shot a few of the arrows, and so Elisha's upset, and he's like, why didn't you shoot them all? And you know, it got me thinking about leaders in, in ministry and, and, and just the, the desire for us as leaders in ministry to sometimes maybe not do all we can. And, uh, it, you know, over time you've got passion. If you remember when you first joined ministry or maybe if you're brand new in ministry now, you've got this passion, you have this zeal, and uh, you're just you're ready to go for it. I mean, you come out of Bible college, you come out of seminary, and you're just ready to, uh, to take the world for, for the kingdom. And, and, and then over time, as, as you, you have some... Uh, years under your belt, you know, things just start to, you know, maybe lax up a little bit. You maybe start getting a little bit, not lazy, but uh, other, other things of the world, other, other cares of life, your family, and so on and so forth begin to uh, maybe cause you to be busier, uh, you know, and so you, you start having all these things, and so maybe you're not doing all you could for the Lord or for the kingdom. Uh, and I think just leaders in ministry, I think we can become... Um, uh, you know, just accustomed to what God's doing. And, and it's just, it's all we know. It's what we do for a living. And so as a result, you know, sometimes we let the gas off the pedal a little bit. And, uh, you know, I think about this story with the king of Israel and Elisha. And, and, you know, one of the things I think for him may have been more just a lack of faith, maybe not believing God for big things. And, and that could be the case sometimes too for us when, we, when we, we know God does things, but we pray all the time. And yet it, it seems like we're not getting an answer. It seems like sometimes we're not seeing the, the fruit that we'd like to see. Maybe the church isn't growing like we want it to grow. Maybe the ministry isn't advancing. And so you're wondering, you're hitting plateaus. You're wondering what's going on and kind of just, kind of just almost resolve to say, you know what, we're just going to, we're going to go on cruise mode. And, uh, but that's not what God wants. I mean, God wants us to continue to pursue, to push forward because we've got a, a major responsibility. I mean, God has gifted each and every one of us uh, to, to, to make a, a major impact on the kingdom. And, and he's uniquely positioned you where you're at right now to, to make a difference. And so I guess my encouragement for you today is, is don't let the gas off the pedal. Don't, don't just resolve to give a half-hearted effort. Uh, be, be diligent in doing all you can for God. And if there's things that maybe you've had in your, your heart to do, maybe in your mind that you, you, know, you need to do, but you just haven't taken that step out to actually start doing it, uh, make today the day that you begin putting plans in place to do what you feel like God is, is leading you to do. It might be starting a new ministry. It might be uh, changing the way you're doing the current ministry. Uh, I mean, we could list a, a, a variety of things that God may be putting in, in people's hearts. But I think the key is this. We just have to remember, we, we can't allow the regularity, the consistency, all, all the, the day-to-day stuff that happens in ministry to callous us or to uh, cause us to not keep pushing forward with what God wants us to do because ultimately it's all about the kingdom. It's all about what Jesus um, wants us to do and, and, and reaching more people for him. And so uh, I hope that's encouragement for you today. And uh, just know that whatever, whatever you're doing now, God has positioned you there and he wants you to do all you can so that you can make a massive impact for the kingdom. Now, if you're watching this anywhere else besides thehardygroup.org, be sure to head on over to the website there. We'd love to uh, interact with you. That's where all the free resources are. And uh, we also want to have a reaction. You know, let me know. What do you think? I mean, is there, how's this, how's this uh, feel to you? Is, there, is, there, is, it, uh, is this something you find in your life? Is it, is it not? Is it not resonating? And uh, give us the thumbs up. Give us that thumbs down. Uh, whatever the case may be, we just pray that you have a great day and that God would bless you in, in your sphere of influence.